Hello, it's uh, time for an update, long overdue. So there's been a few changes, well tonight basically. This is my Tetramorium by Carrion Artem. I decided to clean out that um, Saturn at the back there. I've had enough of the setup I had, I just never saw them. I had no idea how many I had. Very rare I see them. And it turns out there's actually quite a few left, considering how many have been dying off. Let's go in for a close look. So you can see there's actually some brood in there as well. Pretty cool. So they're uh, doing better than I expected them to be doing, considering the amount of dead I've had. And uh, yeah, I, ju I just got to get them out of these horrible bamboo tubes. They're, they're a pain in the arse. The ants love them, except for, you know, it's taken me a, a lot of dead colonies to work out how to keep the ants in them. I mean, it involved long tubes so they couldn't drag anything into them, basically, because they don't bother taking stuff out. Always goes mouldy and horrible, anyway. Anyway, enough complaining about bamboo tubes. Just don't get them. Do yourself a favour. Don't buy bamboo tubes. Okay, so I also cleaned out all the tubes from my maculatus at the back here. Um, I can't get it to move tubes. I'm going to... I haven't sort of planned to do this, and I thought, oh, I'm only going to do this once. So I've changed all these tubes today. I've just put in a Saturn-sized tube next to her tube. Her tube's out of water. Now, I think, because when I got her, there was ten workers... She's had cocoons that have hatched. I've never picked her up since then. So I'm doing this um, really disturbing and badly for the video here. But I wanted to have a look. One, two, three, four. Right. I can definitely make out four or five workers and there's some eggs there. She's had cocoons that have hatched. As well, I think they've hatched. So I think some of the workers are dead in the, in the cotton at the back there. <laughs> 101 on how not to look after your ants. I'm not going to touch her again now though. I just wanted to... I'm sort of half hoping that by disturbing her so much she might decide to move tubes as well. Um, <laughs> there goes all my sort of not, not disturbing her for a long time. I really wanted to know what was going on in there. Oh, sorry. So now I know that I've got about five workers. I know there's some eggs. She's not going to be at all happy. They've blocked up the entrance to that. But... So I, I, I'm very gentle with my ants. I don't normally move them around at all. So this is the one time that I... What am I doing? This is not how to look after your ants, is it really? But my plan is... I want them to move into the satin. If they won't move into the satin, then at least move into this new tube. I've really messed them up now, haven't I? What a stupid thing to do. This is not how to look after your ants. Hopefully they'll find those eggs. I've probably set them back about six months now. Well, not that much, but you know what I mean. What a silly thing to do. Right, anyway. I can't zoom out. I have to come out like this. So this is the next big development. Look how close that is. Those connections there. So that's the, the large nest on the roof of Glaucus. Which had got to sort of doesn't look that full at the moment. Well, okay, it, it gets to the point where that, it's that full there to sit in the tubes. So I've decided that's it. This nest isn't actually that much bigger than this. It's bigger in the footprint. But I don't know if it's. It's just I had it. It's it's uh, Wakushi um, prototype. We call it, I suppose. Yeah, it should give me. I, should, I did have the harps in. So it's got very big chambers here, but I'm hoping because they're such a big colony, they'll be all right with that. I can't find, I've got a red cover for it somewhere, which I want to put on just to try and get them to move in. I purposely sort of over it a bit because I want all that soil in there. It's not soil, it's um, exoterra desert stone. I want that to be moistened up. So they're exploring it. I don't want them to just end up, oh, and uh, this is my charcoal mix in there as well. Because if they start dumping stuff, then at least hopefully this charcoal might help. I had to turn it also, this is a standard Gen 3 port on it, but the port's just, I couldn't get everything to fit. See how tight everything is? So that's, if you take the port off a of Gen 3, you've actually got a 10mm hole. So you can have a 10mm tube going into the 13mm going into the connector. Which might be useful to know. Sorry about that. But these are doing really well. They've not, I mean, they're on the next batch of uh, brood now. Let me show you that. Take off the sun thing. I can't. Not really. Oh yeah, you can there. Let's zoom in for a bit. If I can. No, that's not going to show you. They're on the next. There's no cocoons, but they they are developing. That's the main thing. 
So these have been my sort of star ants, but they've just got to the point where they're absolutely packing that nest out. That probe there is, I don't know why it's saying that. I need to take it out because that's not accurate. It's not even close. I just wanted to know that the mat was definitely on, basically. 24.1 in there. Um, okay, let's let's go freestyle. Freestyle things in the way. Okay, so the Nikos, just, well, I cleaned them out over a week ago. So that's the dead after about, I don't know, maybe eight days, something like that. So it's, it's not as, nothing like what it was. So the, the, all the um, die off has sort of calmed down, but they're not. They're not particularly that interested in their sort of protein. I've no, I don't see them eating anything anyway. I, I, get, I feed them twice a week, a bit of roach or whatever. They are taking the sugars, but it's... You know, I fill that up and it might take them over a day and a half to fill, empty that. So that's not like Nico's at all. So I'm just hoping that... Because I've, I've cooled them right down, 22. And they're staying on 22 until... Ideally, the plan was the end of February, and that would have been four months of being cold. And my plan is to give them a proper, really good cold um, hibernation, and then I'll start warming, you know, just half a degree every two, three days or something. Warm them back up to 25, and hopefully that's going to sort them all out, but I don't know. A few of them have been moving into the Saturn recently as well. But, uh, yeah, and whilst we're here, it's your pile of sort of spare... Stuff. This was, uh, this, you might be interested to see this. This was my failed attempt at trying to revive my harp queen. You can see, this is one of the options. She could have come in here. There's loads of charcoal in there. Just, they have a habit of leaving dead bodies lying around. And then this is my setup. So it's, this is, I've not seen anybody do this before. So it's Gen 3 medium set up with this. She's still in there, dead. Look, that's the queen. So there was a mix of different tubes, some that did have charcoal and some that didn't. And the idea was that she'd have four separate nesting places to choose from. And uh, that she died about two days. And, uh, well, the messes are the messes, really. Um, since I did that video of 52 days, they've not... They've drunk a lot of water, but they haven't taken many seeds. They're just always active, there's always stuff going on. These are in a temporary position at the moment. I've still got maculatus and irritans from in the summer when the queens died. Still doing alright. I only feed them about once a month, but they fine. <laughs> Annoyingly. So anyway, that was about it really. It's just a sort of little update. Um which I sort of messed up and all that, but we'll see. That's my general setup at the moment. I don't know what's gonna happen. If I can find that red cover, I'm hoping they'll move into there. Because if they can move into this one. I've already measured it out. I could I could upgrade the outworld to a large outworld. It will fit between this and the side. But I can only do that if they move in. I don't know if they will. So we shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>